you guys. I'm here to show you how to do the DAC zeroing for your Vectrex. The tools you're going to need are a digital voltimeter, like this one, or something similar, it doesn't matter. You're going to need an alignment tool, something like this with plastic so it insulates. Uh, something like this here. It's a cool kit you can buy uh, that keeps it from your fingers hitting the actual DAC because it can actually uh, skew the results. Also using tips on mine, if you're wondering, these are uh, some magnetic tip for ground up here. These are a kit you can get. You can order them online. It's a Radio Shack kit. It's a micro testing kit. I think they're like $24 and they're well worth it. What we're going to be doing is clipping to this quad amp over here, the um, IC304. And we're going to be putting this test lead on pin one. You can also see that pin one is designated by the, the dot up here, the indention in the chip in the IC. And our ultimate goal here is to adjust this pot right here. It's a 5K potentiometer. Uh, this one was replaced because it was already corroded out. So I had to get a new one that didn't exactly fit. It wasn't the exact replacement. So this one's smaller, but I made it work. Same principle. You use the same tool to do it with. So to get started, you just need to put your um, put your test card in. I have a VEC multi in right now. And let's see if I can get to the test cart. Yep, there it is. And we're gonna go to the test cart. And, oop, I, actually I picked the wrong thing actually. I picked the game instead. <laughs> So here we go. Let's go back to test cart, which is number one. And I'm going to go press enter until I get to the adjust DAC offset. You see it pop up and go off. There's a reason for that. And what we want to do is only adjust it when the screen is blank. Don't adjust it when you see writing on the screen. All right. Sometimes you can hear it get used to the noise when it goes in and out with your ear so you don't have to look at it constantly. But you can keep the screen kind of to a corner of your eye so you can see it if you need to. Alright, so now with our multimeter hooked up, positive lead on pin 1 of 304. Negative up here, I got it stuck on the shield up here for the flyback, which is fine. And I have a good light source right here. So this is a little, just a little clip-on light I stuck on down here so I could see what I was doing. So they're pretty cheap and they work great. All right, so you'll see that there's a, a, a little divot in there where you can stick the flat end in there. So I'm gonna do that. And you can see, you can now turn it easily. And you can also see when I'm turning the pot it's changing the voltage. Our goal is to get zero, or as close as you can, all the way down. You'll see it'll go negative and positive, so it'll swing both ways. We want to get dead zero if possible. It doesn't take but tiny, tiny little uh, adjustments. And make the adjustments and let off of it quickly, and you'll see. But again, we're only adjusting this when we don't see the actual DAC come up on here. And there it goes. And I'm only going to adjust it when I don't see it. All right, so I'm looking at my voltimeter over here to the right. I'll bring it into focus over here so you can see it. And you'll see the light going in and out. All right, so we're dark. We're back. I can't adjust it yet. Okay, we're dark. I can adjust it. And I got it on zero. And it comes back up. You'll see it go up about uh, 0.09 on the meter. It's black. Goes back up. Yep, there you go. And my picture's jumping a little bit because of the cable. I got to adjust around that. So here we go. It's back down. It's about zero. Back up. It's gonna go back down. All right. And it's dropped to a negative. So. I'm going to adjust it some more. I'm going to make sure we get it stable. Right around. All right. 
the way. 0.012 doesn't matter. That's not too bad. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. There's one minus three. It might take you a little bit to get it just right. Yep. They don't give you much time to adjust it either. And oop, go back off. It can be tricky. I got zero. Alright. That might that should be it right there. And it comes on. Alright. Okay. It's looking about right, I guess. Yep. That's about as good as you're gonna get it right there. So real easy. Um, once you do that, you need to turn the um, turn the unit off and back on so the beam can reach center and, and then you can work with your other adjustments, which will be another video. This is what you need to do first before you even get to uh, doing these potentiometers here. And you'll also see that there's going to be a yoke adjustment possibly if your screen is tilting to the left or the right. Also, there's going to be a adjustment for horizontal and negative over here on the side of the power board. And I'll show you that too, so I can get a good, it's hard to work with the camera here. Um, there's one right there you're going to be working with, and there's one down here that you're going to be working with through that hole. That's your horizontal and vertical or X and Y adjustments. So once you do that, in the next uh, couple videos I'll show when I do them, you'll be all set. It can be a little tricky to, to get the yoke and all going. There's some, some magnets in here too for the electron beam aiming. It's usually nothing you need to adjust on the tube unless you've replaced the tube or some genius before you bought it decided you wanted to tweak it and thought it'd make the picture look better and got it out of spec for you. <laughs> Gotta thank him for that. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed it and I hope it uh, explains pretty easily, you know, what you need to do for that DAC adjustment, the mysterious DAC adjustment. So, um, hope you like the video and look out for more. Thanks.